What's up there, folks? Good evening. It is uh, Saturday, March 6, 2021 is the date. About uh, 7, 10 p.m. West Coast time here in California, and we are looking at the latest information here on the uh, Earthquake 3D Globe. Shows a 4.4 over here around the uh, Iceland area. Of course, uh, a little bit of uptick in earthquake activity out there. Taking place, um, quite a few folks asking, hey, what's going on? What's going on up there in Iceland? Well, there's quite a bit of earthquake activity and volcanic activity um, potentially about ready to t take place up there in the Iceland area. Here's the latest earthquake or the, uh, yeah, latest earthquake map from the USGS, uh, 2.5 and above. United States, but uh, this map here will only show 4.0 and above for the Iceland area, but there's much more earthquake activity showing up here on this map than what these guys are uh, showing latest quake 4.4 4.5 5.2 quite the uptick i would say definitely a major uptick in uh, earthquake activity in the past hour or so we'll go ahead and check out the uh let me see if i can check out the iceland uh, volcanic website here see if i can bring up the uh, latest uh Earthquake map here on the layers. Uh, man, 48 hours or so of earthquake activity. Yes, folks, there's definitely quite a bit of earthquake activity. And a lot of folks are wondering, how come I'm not mentioning it? You know, how come I'm not, uh, I guess, you know, discussing it more? So, you know, in my update videos, that's because I'm kind of keeping an eye on things. I'm watching the activity in Iceland um, and things are kind of increasing tonight here in uh, at least in my local time tonight that's kind of why I'm mentioning mentioning this more so than I've uh, than I have in the past update videos but I haven't left this out 17,000 more than 17,000 we're looking at potentially 20,000 earthquakes or so or more uh, that have taken place here in the Iceland area um, over the past week or so, this is uh, definitely some tremendous amount of earthquake activity that is uh, volcanic related. Um, I did put out a video. I will include it at the end of this video as a um, a thumbnail. So at the end of this video, you'll see that um, Iceland uh, video pop up. Just uh, go ahead and click on that and you'll see a little bit more information on what I discuss about what's going on out here. I don't want to cover all that. don't want to repeat myself too much out here. I, I don't want to cover that a whole lot here in this video. But overall, definitely last 48 hours of earthquake activity here in Iceland area on the increase. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the EMSC website here. Uh, see if these guys are covering um, some more... Uh, specific activity up here. Oh, hold on one second here. We'll go back here. Let me zoom into this area. Uh, and it definitely has picked up, folks. There's no doubt. It definitely has picked up. Um, these guys here from the EMSC, the European model, shows uh, 5.0, 3.4, 4.2, 3.0, and a 4.3 uh, happening um well no 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 these guys they do not have this is going back from the 24th here so these guys don't have uh, these guys are not showing all the activity that should be popping up there usgs actually has more activity um, on that uh, map here within the last hour or so it's really ramped up folks uh definitely has ramped up within the last hour this is showing uh over the past day, but I guarantee you these have occurred within the last hour and a half or so. The red circles indicating the last hour of earthquake activity, and that's a that's a pretty good uptick. But as far as the MSC uh, website goes, I, I don't know. Sometimes they are they're ahead of uh, ahead of things on time, but uh, tonight they're not uh, looking so good. The Iceland uh, volcanoes dot is iceland uh, website showing the latest quakes here um, in this region 
There's quite a few folks over the last 40 hours, 48 hours or so, definitely uh, on the uptick. So just be on guard. You know, this is definitely uh, p potentially volcanic related. I Like I said, I shared this quite a few times in my video that I put out. A um, couple alerts there, and this has been an ongoing alert phase uh, from the civil protection due to an earthquake swarm in the, uh, what is that, Rick Jane's Peninsula. It's just, uh, yeah, a little alert that they put out. And there's, um, there's quite a bit of earthquake, volcanic, and uh, civil information on this specific website. Uh, if you do want to check it out, it's a pretty simple web website to remember. Iceland. Um, okay, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Iceland. Uh, icvolcanoes.is is the website right there. So far, it looks like uh, most of the volcanoes there are pretty steady, uh, including the one that sits there uh, close to the region. Let me see if I can pick that up there real quick. Um, uh, let's see here. Hmm. How come I'm not seeing that up here right now? Kind of a little bit tired. Still feeling a little bit drained, folks. Uh, definitely feeling pretty drained out here. Uh, but as uh, far as I know, there's no new statement. Otherwise, it'd be listed underneath the alerts as far as the volcanic uh, possibilities out here. But once again, um, I will include that video uh, at the end of this uh, video, a link to it. So you guys can uh, read a little bit more information about it. But no doubt, folks, it's something of a hot topic. You know, I'm not ignoring the possibility of a volcanic eruption out there. But it's not going to be catastrophic. It's not going to be, um, oh my gosh, you know, the world's ending type of event. It's going to be simply similar to um, Hawaii's event uh, a few years ago. Where, in, where they seen some fissures open up out of the ground and a magma comes up and whatnot. It's not going to be an explosive eruption, not going to be a climate change, end of the world type event. Um, so that's kind of why I'm downplaying it a little bit because it's not that big of a deal uh, when it comes to the uh, volcanic threat out here. Watch the video. Um, far as the rest of the globe goes, let's go ahead and bring back the all magnitudes here. And uh, West Coast, pretty quiet for the most part, folks. The main earthquake activity uh, still here. South Tonga, Kermadec Islands area, uh, northeast of uh, Auckland, New Zealand. Still quite a bit of earthquake activity, aftershock activity. But there is some migration, folks. Check out that migration. There's a line there kind of going along this trench area. Okay, you got to remember, folks, we've seen some major earthquake activity in this area and this area that's where the 8.1 mega quake struck here a couple days ago we had a 7.3 down here a lot of movement so ultimately what's going to happen within this region build up of pressure and we're kind of seeing that migration we're seeing a couple earthquakes now taking place within that middle section there of the Kermadec Trench it's a very close area. I mean, it's a very important area to watch here, including this region up here to the north in this hook, this little hook area, uh, Tonga, Fiji area. Um, this whole area is uh, under, still under the gun for a potential large scale movement. But specifically, as we're seeing this stretch down here, okay, it's. I don't think I have to draw a line. This stretches out more than 100 miles of earthquakes um, down in this direction, right? That's obviously, and depending on how much pressure is built up here um, over the years, I think it's a, an important region to watch 
very closely for uh, some large scale movement. But uh, just today, quite a bit of earthquake activity, quite a few fives, fours, upper fives. Um, there was a 6.1 aftershock within the vicinity of the 8.1 that struck a couple days ago. Um, actually, a couple 6.1s there. So movement still on the increase, folks, in this region. Just stay alert, be on guard, be prepared. Uh, definitely don't be panicked whatsoever, but um, uh, yeah, just be prepared. F far as the most part, or far as movement up here towards the north, the northern, northwestern part of the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire. A little bit of movement, uh, not a whole lot, but some activity there north of the uh, uh, the islands here. A little bit of cluster of quakes there, if you can see that on that map. Quite a few fives, upper fives, and this is the region to watch here too. Uh, you got to remember, as we see, as we've seen a lot of pressure uh, released down here, movement to the west with this pacific plate ultimately down up here to the north uh we could see a uh you know this this kind of plate mo this plate moves in a way oh what's the best word to describe it i don't know kind of like a cracked eggshell you know if you move a little piece of the cracked eggshell it's going to move the entire plate for the most part over here, or the entire piece of that shell on this side. And I think what we're seeing right now is uh, quite the buildup, quite the stress out here in the islands here of the uh, the states. We need to watch this area very closely. When we're seeing swarms like this in the upper fives, lots of fours kicking up. This is something to watch very, very closely. Um, up here north, another 5.1. And uh, off the uh, Lucian Islands area, pretty quiet. In this area of the trench, looking... Uh, and that's kind of quiet as well, but hot spot. X marks the spot right there. Need to be on alert, be on guard for this region here. Just overall, the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire is underneath the gun underneath uh, tremendous stress right now so just be cautious be on guard out there folks um, zooming in here to the united states real quick covering the activity here not a whole lot to cover folks we're not looking at any major increase in pressure any major increase in swarms it's looking overall pretty quiet uh, that includes the san jacinto fault area ridgecrest area no swarming taking place in salton sea nevada pretty quiet as well um, overall, we're looking at uh, just just some dull activity. Uh, pretty much a release of pressure, or at least a locked pressure um, time frame right now for the eastern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, which includes the uh, the west coast here of California. Uh, covering the trimmer map real quick in the Cascadia, not a whole lot to report. The uh, Vancouver Islands area seeing some uh, trimmer. Being picked up, but not a lot. Only 25 epicenters of trimmer today um, in the Cascadia subduction zone. Yellowstone National Park, pretty quiet as well. Um, far as the borehole seismic activity there, just a couple, well, I wouldn't say a couple, quite a few microquakes there kicking up in the uh, Yellowstone National Park area, but nothing big, nothing uh, that's really registering on any of the other stations. So, Yellowstone, the Sleeping Beauty Giant, is quiet for now. All right, folks, we are going to jump off here. Hope you guys are having a great evening. We are barbecuing up some uh, tri-tip some tri -tip steak tonight. And, uh, yeah, just kind of enjoying the evening, enjoying the weekend, so to speak. And I'm um, trying to feel a little bit better, you know, just feeling pretty fatigued lately. But uh, we're trying to counteract that uh, negativity with some positive um, positive activities, so to speak. <laughs> Barbecuing and uh, just, you know, enjoying the evening. So, all right, guys, have a good night. Uh, like I said, Iceland, you know, uh, that video will be included at the end of this video, this update video, um, as a thumbnail. So if you want a little bit more 
technical information on what could happen in the Iceland area, um, it will be in that video. Stay safe, folks. Good night.